Deadline is reporting that a remake for Stephen King's classic Firestarter is on the way with Oscar winner Akiva Goldsman directing and producing alongside Blumhouse's Jason Blum. In Firestarter, a young girl develops pyrokinetic abilities and is abducted by a secret government agency that wants to harness her powerful gift as a weapon. Universal is also involved in development with Blumhouse and Goldsman as the studio released the first feature adaptation of the film in May of 1984, which starred Drew Barrymore and was directed by Mark L. Lester. The news comes on the heels of a fantastic 2017 for Blumhouse, which has made close to $500 million worldwide from both Split and Get Out. A release date for Firestarter has not been set. Mark Byersell, a new Firestarter remake produced by Blumhouse Pictures. I'll buy it, Ashley, because I heard Blumhouse Pictures, and they tend to do pretty good work, whether they acquire films or they engineer them themselves. Actually, Slight, the movie I saw yesterday, was a Blumhouse faction that produced and, and you know, put that movie out. So I'm excited that Blumhouse likes it because I usually like stuff that they like. And Firestarter is a neat story that you can tell. And it's got like a uh, midnight special feel to it where the mm. government is after a kid with special powers. I've never seen the first Firestarter, but our VHS copy when I was a kid that we taped from TV, A Flight of the Navigator, had a preview, I believe, for Firestarter also on TV coming on. And my parents wouldn't let me watch it because it was a little girl setting fire to stuff. And they maybe thought that I might take after that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to buy this. You're right. Blumhouse just, they don't make mistakes. Like, so far, they just do not make mistakes. And they've never gotten ahead of themselves either. Like, they've always stayed within this, this the kind of realm that has been really successful for them. Smaller projects, developing them, picking them up, whatever. I think in the coming years, you're going to see them expand a little bit more. Maybe Firestar is going to be our first taste of that. I really enjoyed the first Firestar, though as a little kid, freaked the hell out of me. But it was because not only is it Drew, I think George C. Scott was in that as well. He was terrific in it. I, I like the original and I like the studio doing it. So for me, it's a buy. Yeah, I'm going to buy it also because I think f remakes, a lot of times what they do with remakes is they, they're remaking movies that are super, super popular and these big, huge movies that a lot of times we say, yeah, you don't touch those movies. Firestarter had its audience for sure, but it's not one that a lot of people have seen. I think that if you get someone like with Blumhouse or with Akiva Goldsman doing it, that's a, a remake. I can say, okay, that's interesting that you're going to try to do that because it's got a good premise. It's been a long time since the movie came out. Uh, they could do a lot of new things with it. And like you guys are saying, the, the, the limited budget of what Blumhouse can do and their ability to turn a profit, it makes sense.